I spent some time looking at old interviews we did with marrying Catholic and state champion swimmer Danny Berlitz for this next story. The crazy thing, almost every time we talked with him, he said he could get faster. Life goes just about as fast as Berlitz in the pole, so before the next chapter starts for him, here's a look back at his astonishing high school career. What do you remember from the point of you finishing the race to today? You said at school they had a little surprise for you. Yeah, um, just after I finished the meet um, and I won, it's a big blur. Um, you know, I was just starting to soak it in, just trying to just, you know, just, just soak in the, the championship that I got. And then um, today they had like a surprise, um, it's like almost like a pep rally for me. Um, I walked in, they all clapped for me, got a standing ovation, um, got presented with my medal again. Um, but it was fun, you know. It's just, it's an amazing ride. I hope uh, I can continue it through junior and senior year. It won't be long before Marian Catholic senior Danny Berlitz jumps in the pool to swim for gold in the 200 individual medley. Pre-race among friends and competitors, Berlitz is calm. He's greeted at states like a loyal customer at a local diner. Being here four years, uh, it definitely calms you and it humbles you and you know what to expect and you're not coming in like, oh, what's going to happen, what's going to So uh, definitely, and just how I am, I'm kind of more of like a chill back friendly guy. Like I know like everybody, like I, I talk to everybody. I'm over here talking to people. I'm walking around the pool talking to people. So just making friends and uh, just talking to everybody. It's just, I'm just a relaxed person. It's my first time covering the state swimming championships and I'm a little bit nervous. Berlitz even calms me down by referencing a story we did a few months earlier. Hi. <laughs> How are you? That's good. I'm ready for some more ice cream. That's all I'm saying. In the summer, Berlitz sat down with me and an ice cream cone to discuss his off-season work, his diet, and his future plans. At the time, he was headed to the swim team at Auburn University. Now committed to his dream school at the University of Michigan, he's trying to stick the landing of his amazing high school career. The 200 IM final is getting closer, and the Kinney Natatorium at Bucknell University is packed. Everyone is on top of each other, but Berlitz has found some space. He seems miles away, and to me, he's no longer like a loyal diner customer. He's more like the down-to-earth famous customer who signs a headshot to be hung on the wall. In other words, at this moment, you know you're looking at an elite athlete. Yeah. What are you thinking about right now? Um, just the mentality and just like keeping staying focused and not letting anything distract me and um, just stretching out because it was really cramped to where I was sitting. So stretching out my legs and just being relaxed and not being nervous and just trying to let, let everything out. Berlitz is now ready to chase another gold medal. What did you learn from the state championships this year that you'll use going forward in your career, um, if anything? Uh, don't, um, if you get a gold medal, um, always, always like don't give up or like you just keep striving because people like get too overhyped over something and then they forget about everything else that they have coming. So I mean, um, Always give it your all no matter what and just keep your chin up. I mean, last year I learned that after getting a DQ, just put it behind you. It's behind you already. Don't worry about it and get into the pool. And I think the same thing applies. You get a gold medal, put it behind you, and just go in the pool and just see what you can do. Berlitz was disqualified in this event back in his sophomore year for a one-handed wall touch. In his senior year, he dominates the race from start to finish. My focus is on going fast in the first half because I'm more of a back ass swimmer. So the, the front half was just build the intensity and try to get a good lead. Um, and I kind of used all, like I just busted out in the first uh, half if you want to say so. The back half again was just stay strong and stay moving. So I was really happy with that. With that swim. The next day, Berlitz would end his high school career by setting a state AA record in the 500 freestyle and winning another gold medal. There may be more gold in Berlitz's future. In his past, after his first state gold, I asked him this question. So how do you celebrate after all this with the family? That Who's the first person you see? What, what do you remember from the moments like after? Um, so I finished, I looked up, I saw lane four, and first I was like, wow. I turned around, splashed the water, and then I looked at my coach, Bill Moore, and then I looked up and I saw my, my mother and my father just standing there like clapping, and I was like, I did it. Like, wow, that's, what, that's how it feels. Like, it's amazing. Amazing. That about sums it up. For SSP TV Sports, I'm Ken Kara.